never really had any, you know, aspirations to do music on this level. Yeah, we literally even started from scratch. If I wasn't making music, I'd probably, you know, still be doing choreography and dancing. I'd probably be a barber. I remember going to college and there was these guys who were already in the dance program and really inspiring because they were from the hood, but they were doing ballet and, and shit. And I was just like, oh, if they can do it, I can do it. This style of hip hop back in Dallas called uh, Boogie, there was always like dance connected with it. And it was really interesting back around like 08, 09, you would see a lot of guys like make videos and, and dance videos and they put it on YouTube. And it was guys that were like, you know, thugs and like high school kids. And it was interesting to see like thug guys, you know, just like, you know, doing all this kind of, you know, that kind of shit. Shout out to my teacher, Gypsy Ingram. Man, if it wasn't for her, like, it's crazy, like how everything that she, she, she taught me prepared me for what I'm doing now. Using the whole stage and, and you know, in, in filling up the space and, you know, all that kind of shit. It helped me be comfortable on stage and definitely prepared me. Mm, don't get me started at this time of night. Hard to keep my guard up when the feeling's right. really sparked it for me was seeing the Michael Jackson 40th anniversary from then on. I mean, I wanted to pursue the whole dance thing. You know, my heroes dance and, and seeing that in the music videos and being inspired by Usher and trying to mimic, you know, his glide and, you know, his, you know, waving. In the whole dance world, it, it's a constant grind and it's very competitive. And I was pretty decent. I was an okay hip-hop dancer and then I got to college. I, I learned a little bit of technique, a little bit of uh, modern dance and African and, and ballet, but it was never good enough to join a modern dance company or a ballet company and that was kind of like my reason for transitioning into music. to do is take the songs that aren't necessarily like songs that you would expect dancing to it's not the up tempo and kind of vibes like I, I like to take ballads and and do movement but also a cool juxtaposition like waving or, or gliding on a blues kind of number and that was my whole thing when I when I jumped in the scene it wasn't like okay let's do the James Brown you know it was just like really incorporating my own thing with the whole 60s R&B vibe well, the approach to coming home was in the, the whole vein of live recording, um, analog equipment, and of course, like that time, I didn't have any um, expectations, and you know, nobody knew who I was. Going into this this album, you know, I went through the emotions of um, wanting to continue to evolve, but also give something to the fans, you know, that they that they wanted. It's really interesting to play these new songs on stage and then to realize like, oh wow, a lot of these songs are down tempo like a motherfucker. Going into third album, you know, I want to make stuff that's more up tempo and just a little bit more groove and, and knock to it. And so it's, it's all about incorporating a little bit of just everything. Yeah.